Hey y'all. So what's up, what's up? Today is going to be a different kind of video. We're actually going to talk about salon must-haves, okay? So for those who have a salon suite or a larger salon um, or own a salon suite, this video, or is thinking about it, this video is for you. So um, before we get into it, I'm gonna be moving this like tripod around and I may occasionally um, like take it off so that you can see certain things, okay? Bear with me. <laughs> Alrighty, so first things first, um, so what I'm gonna show you is how my layout is. Um, this here, you can see this is the chair. The mirror over here, I have my shampoo sink. Um, I think this is like a 200 or 300 square foot space. This is my, I mean 200, maybe slightly under 200. It's pretty big. And you can see my sign up there. And then you can see here, this is another cabinet, the TV. You can see all these other things going on here. Um, it's actually pretty big. So let me see what I can do to like have you guys see how big it is. I actually love this space. I've been here for about four years now, and like that's on purpose <laughs> because I haven't found anything in the proper price point that even makes sense that offers as much as this place does. And I actually like open spaces. The other ones that I visited, um, they tend to be very like uh, very squished and very small. So this is like a bunch of stuff I got going on. Don't pay no mind to that. But oh, and this is a book that I created. Yes, I created this book. You can totally get yours on Amazon. It is a coloring book, but it is also a storybook. So you'd have some fun with this. Like you'd have lots of fun, you know, coloring this baby right here. If you want that, it should be somewhere in the links below in the book, as you can see. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and I also made it with AI. So if you're interested in that, the class replay should be up somewhere sometime soon. Um, I am hosting the class next week. So by the time you see this video, hopefully the replay is available and that should be somewhere in the link as well. Okay, so I'm just giving you guys, you know, you can see what my space looks like. And let me see if I can step out and give you guys a better view. Like the camera doesn't even do it justice, you know? Okay, now let me see how this works. How do I turn this camera around, y'all? Okay. <laughs> so much. Someone just moved in and they, um, set, I think it's like a boutique where they sell clothes and stuff. Pretty cute. So I'm going to turn this around. And you can see how it's very open space and it's very pretty big. So, yeah, that is my space. I hope this did be good and showy because, like, I don't see the button to be able to, like... So I just decided to do it like this instead. So, as you can see, this is a hallway, and this is my space. So, yeah, we're going to get into all this stuff in a little bit, so... First things first, um, we're gonna start at the shampoo station. Okay, let's actually let's start at the door and then work our way to the side. So hopefully I can get this done um, before my client gets here. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's hope. So this chair, I believe I got this from Wayfair. Um, this pillow I got from Amazon. And actually the pillow matches the curtain. So let me see if I can pull this out or whatever. And you can see how the curtain has the same face shape as the pillow. So that was pretty cool to get. Um, got that off Amazon as well. This was like four years. I did move in four years ago. So a lot of this stuff is stuff that was purchased a, a long time ago. Um, like this shelf here to have my make sure I have my um, license up and got this sign here as well for the Wi-Fi that came from Amazon. I did order a shop of a box of like maybe a thousand gift bags like three years ago when I first started establishing business credit by using I think it was Uline and 
first of all that was a great idea because it did help me establish credit and it's been four it's been almost four years and i still have bags left over that's the best part okay <laughs> so i have my silver bird blow dryer i think this one is great for like soap presses and stuff i love it for soap presses that's what i use it for um and yeah, I got a pretty brand new updated one, if you can tell. These are my paddle brushes. Um, I use the ones with Vinted, the Vinted ones, because those are much more safer on the hair and they detangle the hair much better, no matter how short or how long, how straight or how curly. So I love Vinted paddle brushes. If you're ever gonna get paddle brushes, get the Vinted type. Um, these bottles, I remember Timu had a sale and I had got a few of these bottles on sale. Um, I do have Design Essentials products um, and a few oils. And as you can see, they have labels on them. Um, this one does it. I know what it is, but that's because I, I ran out of a bottle and I couldn't find it. So I put it in there. But I'm glad I just did this video because I had to label that real soon. Um, okay, and what's going on down here? You're probably wondering. This is my scalp monitor. This is something that I use to be able to look at my client's scalp. Let me see here. So that way you can see. So let me see. Where's the photos? Let's press OK. And and as you can see, there, oh, there are like, yeah, this is everyone's, these are the past few clients that I've had in my chair. These are um, images of their scalp through this scalp monitor. And that's a whole other conversation for another day. I wouldn't suggest you get into this about, unless you're like, I'm a, I'm a trichologist and I am a trichologist in training. So this stuff like is really, it matters for me. Um, so that's why I have it and it's helped a lot and you have to really know how to use it before you do invest in something like that. Um, so I'm not even gonna put that in the video, but if you are interested, I would say this costs probably like 300 bucks and you have to buy that online as well. Okay, so this ring light, as you can see, this is my ring light tripod now it is a little wobbly i don't know why but y'all maybe because i put it myself i i can't put shit together okay i gotta tell men this whenever they need me like you better be good with a hammer because i don't know how to put nothing together all right <laughs> now with this it is actually i think it is a 22 inch if i'm not mistaken i don't remember but i know it's pretty big yep it's a 22 inch and um it helps it really does <laughs> it lights up the room pretty well okay so i think we're done with this section here okay so this is like my little i just have this here also this table i i did just buy this and switched it out from the one that i had before i personally don't like it but i'm gonna make do with it now um i feel like i need something with still more space like i'll have my aprons folded in here and my capes and there's barely anything in here because this the drawers are so skinny you can't really put much in there so if, it's, if you need something that doesn't hold much but still holds then get it i mainly got it for like these caddies but when i got them i'm like when i did get it it's like mm, was it really worth it <laughs> so now this mirror here i did not purchase that okay this actually came with the space so I'll show you a few things that came with this space. There was a chair. It's not this chair, but there was a chair prior to this that did come with the space. Um, the salon floor mat, I got that. Um, but it came with this. It came with this. Um, they actually furnished the place for me um, as far as like having these cabinets and then also having this um, dresser. I'm going to be switching this out for i forgot what it's called um i'll have it somewhere in the link below but it's like this heavy duty kind of like toolbox that hairstylists and makeup artists can use i want that so bad but it's like three you'll find like the least expensive one for like maybe 300 to like two thousand dollars but it's worth it it's huge it's you can roll it around and it, you can put so much stuff in there but it's so compact at the same time so i'm gonna get me one of those Hopefully I'll be able to show you what it looks like in, in one of the other suites if I have time because my time should be short up any minute. Now, I think we're done with that section over there. <laughs> Let's see over here. I might have to make this a three-part video. What you think? It's giving three-part video? It's giving. So, 
I have this blow dryer here that I got from Wayfair. Honestly, y'all, this shit barely works. And I, I mean, like the power is not as powerful as all the other ones that I have. And I got this because it was um, cute, the color, as you can see. You know, like it matches everything that I have going on in here. You know what I'm saying? So like, why not get it? And that's, that, that was my problem. Um, I barely use this thing. It literally stays right here for aesthetics like that. I do use it on kids or on people that I know I'm not gonna, I don't need their hair to be really dry. I use her for silk presses. I use her for everything. No one silk presses. She's amazing. If I were to use a titanium, it would like be burned off the extension. So that's a class. Just gave me that for free. Um, moving on. Did get this chair from um, Amazon as well. Let me go ahead and see if I can put this back on. So as you can see, this chair right here, it swivels and it also can go up and down and it has a footrest. I love this chair. I've not you probably would not consider it as an ergonomic chair. They teach you about this in cosmetology school. Um, but I feel like, since I've had it for four years now, it's been a blessing and it helps me with my, my posture to stay up because I have scoliosis. So it really keeps me straightened, you know what I'm saying? Also, I wanna show you how, you know, goes down. So when I'm styling my client, I can, I can, um, you know, turn them around and I can sit here and whether I'm starting on the very bottom of the head or if I am working, you know, at the top of their head, I am good. And this chair, I said, it keeps my back up straight because I need that type of support. Um, and you can, I got this like two, two of these in total because it came in a set of two for like 60 70 bucks in total and i was able to gift one to at the time she was pregnant and she was um, a hairstylist next to me in my suite the suite that i just showed you with the clothing and stuff like that there was someone who was there like the before and she was pregnant and i didn't like seeing her be on her feet for nine to twelve hours coloring hair dying hair doing balayage services and she wouldn't take no breaks like when i tell you she loves what she does she did not take no breaks so i just saw it as a way to gift her and i gave her that chair and lord knows where it is now because she does have her own salon but i know it was money well spent because she used that baby when she got it okay um and that makes me feel better like it's the least i could do i know what it's like to have to be on your feet and work non-stop even while you're pregnant so i felt that i had to give that anyways Amazon, once again, I got a lot of a lot of this stuff from like Amazon, Wayfair, Uline, um, you'll know, the links will be available, okay? Um, you'll likely see all my Amazon preferred things in like an Amazon storefront list, and then you'll likely see all the other stuff, like maybe like a Wayfair list and stuff like that, and with links below them. Um, 
yeah hopefully the description won't be too long i should probably stop here maybe i think okay i'll show you one more thing one more thing and then i'll stop here and then we'll I'll, you know keep going around the room and make it into a separate video so that way the description doesn't get too crazy <laughs> um we have here my new baby which is my reclining chair she's a reclining chair um, got it on amazon as well and as you can see here the, the Oh, I guess I gotta sit in it. They tell me that I'm never gonna, gonna make it. it. They want me to do something that can make sense. <laughs> they hate when I keep dreaming, I'll be famous. But and it has like a little face of the head. So I, I got out of possession, it's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful because they try to be. They sit there being just meant to because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job, don't slack off. Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you make your money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. <laughs> Fuck so, that, I'll do what I want to do. I got it different guys from everyone in that includes you. I can easily put it in and out. And, you know, it helps with, like, the comfortability for my clients. And I'm going to figure out what else will succeed. And then invest all of my time into that and proceed. I need whatever the hell can make me happy. And I'm going to give you a clue. What could that be? They tell me that I'm never going to make it. They want me to do something I can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck how I keep chasing. They tell me that I'm never going to make it. They want me to do something I can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck how I keep chasing. They tell me that I'm never going to make it. They want me to do something I can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. See you in the next video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Oh my God, I totally almost forgot. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, right? And share. Thank you. Until next time. Okay, now you can go. <laughs> Bye.